Here's where I usually got huts set up. I usually set two traps to a hut. I try to find where they're making some sign. They'll be there, be uh, where they're uh, got a dropping pile or a little uh, when I landing. You can kind of tell where it's smoothed out or they got a they got a pile of droppings or there's some cuttings. But generally, two traps to a hut was I run. I, I run plaster lath for stakes. We got one rat on one side. I run. Oh, two foot of, add, add a, I usually take my, I'm using all my coon traps, so I've taken them off of a drowner and I'll add an extension wire on a lath, and that works pretty good. When I said I want to get my, wherever my trap is to the, to the lath, I want that tight. I don't want it, I don't want a lot of slack. Sometimes you have to if you're in a real deep spot, then I like using a heavy trap. Most of my traps are one and a halves, 175s. I've got a lot of, I've got some two bridgers just because that's what I got. I need all the volume of traps that I can. I even got some number three uh, coil springs. I kind of save those number two bridgers and number three coil springs where the water's about that deep and the rat just comes off and drowns immediately. You got a nice heavy trap and it just, uh, you can drown up in shallow water. So I kind of pick and choose my traps to how deep the water is. I don't mess a lot with the lure except for on floats. We got beaver running around here. If it started luring up all your rat sets, you'd have, you're gonna start having trouble with beaver and possibly coons. I pulled that stake just to sew my rig, but I usually don't. I like, when I wire my, the thing I wanted to show is when I wire my, I get it halfway tight on my wire. You'll see what it does, it'll almost lock up. That should be a little bit, right here I'm not worried about it, but the water's that deep on it there. I wire it fairly tight so that the rat can't slip the stake over the top there. It almost becomes a lock if it's a little bit tighter. If I twist this up a little bit more, I can keep my wire fairly low and the rat won't pull it off the top of the stake if you're up to water about like that one. We set two days ago and our wire dropped about, about an inch and a half, two inches. The traps we probably did 75% yesterday and what we checked. What we didn't catch, a lot of the traps are starting to get out of the water. If your traps are out of the water, you hardly you won't catch hardly any rats, so I'm kind of anticipating the water going down another two inches. So I'm running about, I don't mind a half inch, quarter inch, inch of water over my trap if the water's going to drop. Anticipate that, so I'm going to run everything a little bit deeper just in case the water drops. Doubled up on this hut, so I'd like to see two traps, two rats. You know, this was a number one Duke guard trap where I was getting low on traps. I don't, I don't have a lot of use for a stop loss trap. And one reason they take too long to set, they work, they catch rats. I'd rather have a coil, one and a half coil, 175 coil. It double to use as a coon trap. These things are a pain to, they're hard to get your finger underneath of. They, they take more time to set. They just, they're more screwing around. I've also found a lot of that shallow stuff. You start setting, six two three inches of water whatever where you need a guard trap in the spring that rat's sitting there staying alive every rat that comes along is going to chew him full of holes what's the point of catching a rat and have him chewed full of holes on a bunch of two inch deep stuff where you can just go to deeper water and uh and have a drowned rat that's not going to get so you got enough damage the way it is in the spring there's no point in running a bunch of shallow stuff where you're going to create yourself more damage if i got a little bit of stuff here i'll just move a little bit of it out of the way if there are some cat, well, you'll see where I've set some stuff. If there are some cattails standing right here that are gonna get in my way of drowning my rat, I just get my foot on them and kick them over. Just get a little pool about like that. We'll drown all your, we'll drown most all your rats real.